Good afternoon, class. Today, what we're going to work on is toning a piece of Kansan Mitant toned paper or colored paper. Um, we're going to use fine charcoal to do that, and we're going to recreate this okay. drawing. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen my um, vine charcoal. So I'm using the Nitram, the square um, charcoal, because <clears throat> it's got more density, so it's less likely to break. Got my trash can underneath. I've already sharpened two of them, so I'm going to sharpen the third one. So basically, at an angle, I don't know which way would be best, something like so, which is probably like 30 something degrees or so. I'm going to start going back and forth to shave down an edge and create almost like a sword like um, effect. So you can see that the one side is getting shaved down. And it's a little bit wider towards the back than the front. And you want to end up with something more or less like this. So I've sharpened three of them. I have this uh, foam sand blocks, extra fine um, sandpaper and then I put it in a little Tupperware. When I'm done, I just close it up because it can get pretty dirty. You should have at least three of these. Um, that way you're not wasting time sharpening um, while you're drawing. So I'm going to use the site size method. I'm going to start off doing the site size method and then um, we're going to transition into actually pulling up the lights because I think you guys have seen quite a bit of the um, site size and cross triangulation. So it's no need to go through an entire video doing that. Very good, let's get started. Okay class, so I put my drawing board horizontally. I taped off my uh, Can't Salt Me Talk paper. I'm using a tan. Um, so it's probably like a value number two or three, which is more or less what you wanna do. I have some vine charcoal. I have my master copy to the left because I'm right-handed. <clears throat> I have my sand block. And what I'm gonna do is basically go ahead and rub the charcoal against the sand block and create a mist of charcoal dust over the paper. Now the reason why we're using this pastel paper versus the Bristol vellum is that the charcoal dust will come up a lot easier. One, we're adding another value. So we'll have the charcoal plus the colored paper plus the values we create. Plus we're gonna add some white chalk. Depending on how it looks. Maybe we will not add white chalk, but. Okay, let's see how that does. Once I have this base coat, I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna lightly go ahead and do little circles. I don't wanna press it into the paper, I just wanna glide it over like so. And I wanna get a value that's more or less like a value three in this case. Then I'm gonna go up and down. Looks like I could probably get a little bit more value in there. I'm gonna check it and see how it is. And first I'm just gonna clean it up. I wanna make it more or less um, neutral, so I don't want to have a pattern. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna take away the excess, and then with a kneaded eraser and an angled eraser, so we can get pretty good 
ranges there. Okay, class, I've gone ahead and done the general block in, refined contour line, and I was trying to get it up to where we could divide light and shadow, but there's so much going on here that I figured I would just start recording so you can see the process. So once I did the first pass, I, I did it, I did the mistake of using a charcoal pencil. So the outline is a little too dark, so I'm kind of fighting with that a little bit. On yours, I would definitely recommend doing a uh, vine charcoal. Um, I wanted it to stand out with the video, so um, it is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and start dividing light and shadow, and then uh, start creating uh, the uh, erasing to start creating the form. All right, let's get started. happening is my eraser has gotten quite a bit of carbon on it so it's not pulling up as much as it was at the beginning which is great so I can control and the amount of, of the paper that's actually starting to show through
let's start building up the background. I'm gonna use uh, 4B and just start laying in. So the grain of the paper is going more or less at the 45 degree angle. So I am gonna do that. I'm not going to put any pressure. And I'm, you can see that it, if I squint my eyes, it looks like it gets a little bit lighter there. So I'm just going to avoid that section. Um, it also looks like it's a little bit darker and then it gets lighter as it goes overall this way, except against the body. So I'm going to continue doing that and bringing it more or less to the level that I need to, uh, the background, so that way I can start working on the darks of the body and also um, start cleaning up the drawing. Okay class, so I've put in quite a few layers um, to try to darken down or key down the actual um, background. I ended up also going back over it with vine charcoal, which helped actually key it down. So I did a um, 4B, and then I went back over it with the vine charcoal, and then I went back over that with the fan brush, and it seemed to bond the layer together much nicer. So now I'm, and I've touched a little bit on a few parts, so started to create some um, higher keys, like where the knee is, where the calf is, and things like that. I, I do need to knock those down. They're a little bit too bright right now. So, even though I'm gonna end up um, reevaluating those values, they look like they're probably okay in value range. Um, so now I want to just start getting into a little bit more of the detailed part. So I'm just going to scan through the actual figure. If I look here, it looks like the forehead has a, a, a value, a slight value keying down somewhere around here, just to suggest that the form is turning away from the light.
The thing to note here is that I'm just kind of walking through this drawing and trying to just ask myself, is it dark enough or too light? So for instance, right in here, it looks like right about to here, it can get a little bit darker in here too. So I go ahead and fill that in and it gets dark to about there. And then there is a slight angle shift, something like so, and here as well. And then I would have to blend all of that. And then it looks like here there's something like this. And then from there, it looks like all of this can be blended. Okay, everybody. So I've built up the drawing. The background is a little bit lighter than what the photocopy is, but that's okay. We're gonna keep moving forward. So I'm gonna use white chalk now. And basically what I want to do is key up my drawing um, and also um, and be careful not to overdo it. So I'm going to go light and easy. The concentration of the lights is here and maybe here. So and it, it goes over into this section a little bit and also here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pass it over this section. So I'm even going over the, uh, the bits of value that I put down. That's okay. And like I said, I'm just going slow and easy. quite a bit now to really try to understand where the highest key is located. All right, and that's it. You know, I wouldn't push it more than that because um, what can start happening is that you just end up just massaging different areas 